Hello, hello, Mana here, and welcome back to the Planet Crafter Prologue. We are picking up here on the menu today, as the game has been updated, and I don't know what's going to happen. I haven't tested anything. A uh, couple of things of concern, but yeah, let's uh, let's just jump in and hope for the best. I, I backed up the save, so oh, oh, okay, okay. One of the concerns may have. Oh my, why why is that slow? Did that get reset? Perhaps. Uh, let's bump that way up. Oh, what, are you, what is going on? I didn't see any changes about this. Uh, let's max that out. Yeah, that feels better. Okay, so one of the things I was mentioned of concern, which it should have been a small thing, but you may notice the stairs are different. Uh, yeah, they've actually been made wider. And they look good. I, yeah, this was added too, I believe. This little, this little piece here. Uh, so we might want to actually reposition these real quick, although they, they actually positioned really well there, uh, considering. But yes, hello. How you all doing? Hopefully well. Uh, I don't know if that was actually better at all. It's not terrible. It's still not perfectly centered, but I think it's better than what we had. Um, right, yeah, so the game has been updated, and so we're going to go over a few things real quick here, uh, both to do with the updates and the world here. Uh, although primarily today we are we are going to work on the base. That's 100%. Uh, I even have something of a plan, uh, which is nice. You may also note, yeah, you may, okay, so let, let's, let's start with one thing. So it was referenced to, with this update. It says the last update before early access is available. So yes, it does sound like this game is not being released soon. It's being released into early access soon. Uh, so... I mean, that's, that's fine. You know, I, I just, for some reason, I was under the impression it was going to release soon. So I guess that makes more sense. But yeah, uh, a little loud. Just turn my headphones down. Yeah, so th there's that. Um, well, let, let's just cover the base stuff real quick here before we get to the updates. Um, so I updated here a little bit, which I'm saying updated. That actually just meant I put a bunch of these. Uh, how are these doing? Oh, my, my buttons are all off. Oh, no. I've been playing Ark, so now I'm going to try and... Oh, God. Uh, but yeah, this is sort of just... I spent a little bit of time... I haven't played a ton since the last episode. Just sort of spent a bit of time in game. Um, doing a few things, allowing some of these to fill up. Got the uh, aluminum over here. Um, oh, right, so these stairs... Yeah, I mean, that... Yeah. I mean, the update seemed to work really well for the stairs, got to be honest. And I, I do think they look better. I think that's a lot more fitting. Um, I, th I think it would be good if they could actually snap onto these somehow. Because I feel like this is a, even though like, you know, we actually landed pretty lucky with how high this ended up for this, I think. I don't know, but I, I feel like this would just be a very common use for stairs, hooking it up against, you know, these or whatever. And I, I think it'd be good if you did have like a snap position, but maybe you could also move it around yourself if you wanted to. Hmm. Oh, right. So let, let's, uh, let's check out the lake. Uh... Yeah, let, let's check out the lake. I'm gonna avoid looking at it. it it's gone up a bit, that, that's for sure. Uh, Alright, what do we got? Oh my god. Oh, and, oh, oh come on, alright. We're gonna black out, because we're gonna look at this. Ah, oh, that's wild. Alright, no, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna go get oxygen real quick. Oh, wow. I actually got that when the screen was black. I, I was it was completely black just here and I kept walking and it actually worked so apparently there's a couple of seconds after it goes black where you're still actually in the game uh, so that's interesting but yes uh, wow that's huge and yeah it's actually coming up to where I thought it was that's wild that is like that that's so crazy wow okay uh, and as, yeah, so the algae growers, uh, I moved one of these, I think it was that one, yeah, it was that one, because I, I wasn't sure how much these were spreading out, so I wanted to sort of move one away, and then also, I, this was like on the line as well, so I, I want to see how much more it was moving, uh, but as for the actual algae, you, you harvest from underneath, or you can see them on top, but this is these thingies, these are what you actually harvest, which I was somewhat oblivious to last time, and not clicking to, I thought it was the things on top, uh, but yes, it is those. And if this doesn't rise more, we'll probably want to move that because we're not getting the full benefit. But yeah, so that's what those are. Um, 
I don't know if there's like a full spread or it's just kind of random because this is like 100% it just sort of does that oh it also stays at 100% just if you're yeah so I think it's that like when you put it down it goes up to 100 and then it's just at 100% growth rate and it will keep making new algae um yeah so we, we do actually have a few algae inside uh oh, I'm, I'm I'm so off on the buttons now it doesn't even mean that long just I, I played a bunch of arc in the last two days <laughs> Uh, uh, but yeah, we also have two new food growers, which I, I think it was these two, or was it three? No, I think we already had two, didn't we? Well, we either have two or three, and yes, we have mushrooms now, because I mentioned in the last one, we haven't run into mushrooms, except for the fact that, yes, we actually had, because, you know, we have a sh seeds of them. Uh, are these not done? Why can I not? Am I using the wrong, oh, it's click, isn't it? I'm trying to use E. Oh, damn you, Ark. Why you do this to me? Uh, but yeah, I thought, um, originally I was just going to get some more eggplants growing because we needed them for recipes. So I thought, may as well make a couple more of these since they don't actually cost that much. Um, it's only like aluminum and that's not a big deal now. Um, but yeah, then I realized we had the mushrooms like, oh, well, okay. I guess we'll do some of them. Oh my God. I'm going to, uh, I've been pressing F so much for arc, but that's the flashlight key in this. Uh, that's, that's so awkward. Yeah, I haven't done a ton, as you can see. Uh, the green thingies ended up somewhere here, yeah. So we got a bit of algae going there as well. Uh, I think... Uh, yeah, I think that was about it. There really wasn't much. I, I said I, I did not do much uh, at all between episodes, but... Just want to make sure that was sort of caught up on. Um, yeah, I did just a bit of sitting around to try and get some more ores. I, yeah, it really wasn't that much, but... Yeah, so I think that is all good for the catch-up. Now, actually, no. The final, the, the part of the catch-up. So, the unfortunate part. Uh, yeah. So, you may notice how clean and nice it is around here, unlike when we finished the last episode. And that's because everything disappeared. Iridium and uranium included. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, so basically, like, I exited the game after I finished recording, and I, when I did this other stuff, like, filling around them, that was me coming back to the game, uh, to get the Iridium and do some other things around the base and, you know, what have you. But I logged in, I'm like, oh, it was clean. I was like, oh, okay, so all the rocks must have cleared up from the meteor shower. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, a little disappointing, because it was kind of cool with all the craziness, but that made sense. Then I was like, wait. And yeah, then, then I realized, no, it, it was all gone. The iridium was, it, it, like those little like glowing rocks that had it around it, that was gone. You remember there was that one over there as well? Yeah, so those were gone. All the rocks around there was gone. The iridium was gone. The uranium was gone. So that, that actually really sucked. Because uh, the rockets aren't cheap, you know? And yeah, I, I did want to just check here right now if our bonuses are still going. I'm pretty sure they are. But yeah, unfortunately, we basically, I mean, we do have these bonuses still going. Yes, we do. Which I don't know why or how that works. It's cool, but it's kind of strange. Like, it's sort of, uh, like, do we get it? Do we get 100% every, I mean, 1,000%, what was it? Yeah, 1,000, every time we launch a rocket. Like, I don't know how that works, but. Oh, wow, legs are at 65. That's really gone up. Wow, that's gone up a lot. That must have sped up or something, because, yeah. Oh yeah, that's definitely going faster than it was. Is it because of them? Or is it because of that number, maybe? Huh. But yeah, I uh, I couldn't believe that. Like, sort of, we still got the bonuses, which is obviously, I think, well worth it in a sense, but... Yeah, it was kind of unfortunate, though, because, I mean, these rockets actually need... Uh, iridium and... I think both? Oh no, oh yeah, no, yeah, you need the rocket engine, I was gonna say, yeah, so... These do actually cost an iridium rod each to make and you get iridium from them so if you've some like yeah I, I mean i guess you'd always have iridium around to do more you would always break things you've made probably i don't know just it just felt really like unfortunate and wasteful to have do both of those and then i, I think we only collected a few iridium like do we even grab any uranium maybe a few but yeah not not really much so we may actually want to do another one of those or another couple we won't today i don't think maybe next episode we'll do a couple more of them uh, but today, yeah, uh, today's going to be mainly focused on checking out uh, more of the update stuff and the building. That's that's really going to be the focus. Uh, but yeah, that, that should be everything caught up. The unfortunate part, which I, I couldn't believe that. 
I, it was like, I understood when I saw that everything was cleared up with the rocks, but everything we've done so far, nothing to me suggested that the ores would go away. That was, that was a surprise, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, I've, I've made some notes here of like what's most relevant to us from the update to check out and stuff. Um, yeah, so one of them was like save files should work. This one, this is one of the things that was more concerning than the stairs. Uh, because one of the new features, so the new features I, I noted down for us that are relevant. One is new biome, Grand Canyons. Another is you can find blueprint chips and decode it on the blueprint screen to unlock new blueprints. A blueprint microchip. Uh, a T1 jetpack, which sounds fun. A deconstruction machine, not sure what that does, other than what it sounds like. Uh, a GPS satellite T1. And then a new screen type uh, mapping. So then above that though, which is what I was about to read, which is concerning for us, is save files should automatically work with the update, but I recommend to create a new one as you'll need enough blueprint microchips to unlock the new items. So that's concerning. Like what, what I'm like the blueprint microchips, is that something like that you can only find in chests and because we've already gone through them, we're not gonna be able to get them? Because that would kind of suck. Honestly, I mean, I, I get it, I, I do, but I, I don't know, they, these, these tend to be the types of games, I mean, with exceptions, I suppose, but for the most part, they're not something you just casually start a new world and over and over, <laughs> even if you got to be completely understanding of that fact in an alpha, uh, it's a little awkward, so I don't know what we can actually check out of that stuff, um, I don't know if anything's actually in here, so we have... No, they're all they're all normal. So I don't know. Do we need to go to the? We need to unlock them, maybe. Oh, oh, oh! It's here. I didn't even notice this. this uh, okay. Find blueprint microchips and decode it here. I do find th this wording felt funny to me. Like it's it's uh like sh wait, that shouldn't be written like that, should it? It should like find blueprints of microchips or something. Oh no, it would just be microchip blueprints, right? wouldn't it? No, that would just find micro... It's not... Blue yeah, that, that shouldn't be blueprint microchips. Yeah. Okay, that, that was... I, I knew something felt wrong when I was reading some of that before. <laughs> yeah, it should definitely be microchip blueprint. Uh, but I, I'm not I'm not a fan of this piece here. It just feels like it's sort of tacked onto the bottom. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so I guess we have to find these. And that, that must apply for all of the new stuff. Uh is water because yeah like that's the main thing and then jetpacks deconstruction the satellite and mapping all reference the decoding so i don't really i don't really get that to be honest um it feels a bit random like you've got all these other things that are based around these but then you've got these few specific things that you have to find to unlock through the blueprint even though it's like there's way more complicated stuff being built here without them sort of thing. I don't know. It just feels like a another version of this. But I, I don't know. I, I guess there's no issue with it. I just don't know. Just, uh... I don't know. It's, it's, you know I'm not sure. Yeah, it's kind of weird. There's, but I recommend to create a new save as you'll need enough blueprint mi uh, oh, microchip blueprints to unlock the new art. Does that mean... It's like, you don't have specific blueprints, you just need a certain amount of them? Hmm. See, I was, I was planning to do a few things from the update uh, before we got into the building, but... I, I don't know if we can do anything. Now that I'm looking at it. I mean, I... I think we'd have to go searching for blueprints, right? Which, that's that's fine. But I have no idea where we'd even go. I guess we do have a new Grand Canyon biome, technically, somewhere. Well, I guess we can just go searching. It's kind of awkward not knowing what I'm looking for. Like, because if they're only in chests, then yeah, that that's that would be unfortunate. All right, let, let's uh, let's get a few things together. Okay, well, I grabbed enough materials for one safe house, but I, th I think we have them spread out pretty well. Uh, I'm just not sure where the Grand Canyon would be. Like, that's probably our best bet, because if we're going for, like, 
Uh, like, if we need to find chests or anything like that, we're probably going to want uh, the new area. Like, that's probably the only place we'll be able to get these microchips, but... Because it, it might actually be like that. Like, the blueprints might act sort of like the resources. Like, you, you need one blueprint to unlock X, then you need five blueprints like that, rather than being, you know, you got to find specific ones. And hello, what? I didn't know there was water here. Ah. Okay. That's cool. Huh. Very nice. Uh, I'm also just assuming this could be the way to the Grand Canyon. Could be that way. I mean, Grand Canyon doesn't exactly, like, that's... It's generally not what you name something small. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, I'm also... Wh why is it dark here? I don't get this area. <laughs> hmm. Anyway. Uh, I guess I'll just keep wandering for a while, because could be pretty much anywhere, I guess. Also, may just stumble onto some random chests, which would be... Which would be quite nice. But if... Oh, that's the thing. They're probably not going to respawn, though, are they? Like... Oh. Well, there we go. Go on. Very nice. Is this... This isn't the Grand Canyon, though, is it? I don't... No. We've been... No, okay. Alright. Oh, this is pretty cool. Man, it's gotten so deep now. This is, this is where our base used to be. Or at least just over here. That's so weird. Mm, yep. Look at this. Look at that. Look how deep it is. I don't know why it's so, like, impressive to me. <laughs> it's just crazy, though. Hello. Have you reset? Damn. Thought that'd be a long trip. So the doors still work. Interesting. It's just flooded. How about you? Very flooded. Oh, it's so weird. And the fact that you can sort of walk on the ground feels a little strange, too. Well, makes it for easy travel, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, I thought we'd actually just wrap back around here to the base to start with so we can use that one and see what actually happens if we get like an interface or um because yeah it, we've definitely like there's probably a few around I've missed I can all but guarantee it but we've definitely found most chests so if that's the way it's going to be set up that's that's a bit awkward for us actually there are there are some options but we'll get to that uh oh okay decode a microchip blueprint new what New blue from Agility Boots T1. What? Wait, what? Really? What? That's just... That's just... What? That's just crap I get in here. Uh, I've already got that. Uh... What? I'm confused. Why, why did I get that? Where? How did I get them before? Didn't it just unlock it? I don't remember how these unlocked, to be honest. Weren't they at, uh... Oh. Maybe I... Maybe this was, um... Because I don't remember now, but maybe this was Terraformation before. But with this update, it's been changed over to the Blueprint system. That's even more difficult though, like, so, do you get them at random, or, okay, I wasn't expecting it would just unlock a blueprint like that, which means you can get duplicates apparently though, if you've already got it, I don't know, that's hard to say, because it could be like, it's not actually, it depends on the code side, if it's checking whether I have this unlocked, or it's checking whether it's been unlocked, as in like, there could be a new system based on the blueprints, and when you unlock it, it's marking it off in there as opposed to first checking if you've got it unlocked in general. Because uh, otherwise you can get duplicates, which means you can waste blueprints and they're finite. So you also can't see everything that you can unlock with them. So you don't actually know. I don't know, I feel like this update really needs some work. 
Because, I mean, we need at least four different ones, I guess, for the unique stuff. The jetpack, destruction machine, GPS satellite, and the, the, the mapping screen. But they don't show up in here. And we can't see them in here. I don't know. This, this, this setup just doesn't feel, like, quite as well planned as the normal stuff. I don't know. It, it just, yeah, a bit, yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, uh... Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just keep looking for the Grand Canyon for now. Uh, right, I mentioned about options, so one thing I could technically do, probably, it would be a little awkward, but I'm pretty sure I could. Um, I, I think, because the way the save file works for this game, I'm pretty sure I could edit it, uh, edit it in such a way that uh, resets all of the storage boxes around the world. But I, I don't, I'm not like certain on that. Can we ever loot this one? I mean, I'm pretty sure I can. I'm just, yeah, I don't know. Could be a bit dodgy. It, it, it's an option, you know, sort of just reset them. Uh, I'm sort of just thinking of like anything we can do to be able to experience the updates um, without needing to, yeah, obviously restart a new world because that, that would kind of suck. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't want to do that for this. Like, if the. I'm not against starting a new world in general, like if Early Access brought a bunch of new stuff and everything, that's fine, but I don't, I don't really want to do it uh, just for the blueprint sort of thing. Uh, not really seeing any changes this way. Probably should have continued that way, eh? We... Uh... I don't know, we've not like explored a lot of these edges, could be anything there. Cause wasn't there, was that big cave like over there or? Oh, there's our little outpost out there. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look around and we'll, we'll figure it out. Honestly, I think that's really what the developer should have done is, um, actually like detected for like the older saves and then did a update to add chests back because that, like I feel, I don't know, it just seems like a better option than people getting stuck. I know it's an alpha, you've just got to, you know, it is what it is. You can't expect perfection or anything. But, I don't know, like, if, it's a very open game, you know, so... If you can cater to it, you sh it's good if you should. Good if you should? That, that doesn't... <laughs> it would be good if you could. Uh, what about you? Chip? No, but some good stuff. <laughs> I mean, that's nice. I was just hoping that the indicate that our uh, last one would indicate that maybe there'd actually be one in like every chest that we hadn't found, like maybe chests have updated, but I don't know if that's the case. So I don't know if that was just a new chest and we were fortunate or yeah, I don't know. Hopefully we can get a couple more. I mean, I'd like to at least get, I mean, it'd be good to get the GPS. Or the jetpack. Uh, jetpack would be number one. GPS I'm more curious about. Because we got like the compass thing up there. But I, I don't I don't see much point in it. At least right now. Like the world's just not big enough to need it. You can just go by eye. I think we might have found the canyon. Or just something new. Either one is good. But also dying. Not far from where we... There's that the ship we were just at. Or yeah. So we're coming around here. And I found this area. Which, also, what the hell was that? What did we just unlock? Oh, that's what we, un oh, bacteria sample. Okay. Okay, oh my god, 1500 oxygen, right? That's, that's, that is, that is nuts. Yeah, so there's this here, but is this the Grand Canyon? I mean, it's pretty, Hello. Super alloy just casually on the ground. All right, we can work with that. This could be an opportunity to get a, a chest or two. Okay, we can deconstruct. Kind of filled with things apparently. Go away, go away. Let's just clear all these out, I guess. Yeah, if we can get a couple of blueprints, I would be a happy chap. Cause that's the best we're gonna do, I think. 
uh, without, yeah, editing saves or anything. Uh, okay. Might need to sort out some storage here for it. Oh, but, uh-oh. All good. <laughs> All good. Okay, I dumped everything in a locker, so let's see what we got in here. Uh, no microchip. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Really? Come on. You can't do a new system. Have a new area that's possibly not actually new, so I could be full of shit. Either way, there is no blueprints. Ah, uh, is this new? If this is new, I'm disappointed. If it's not new... Okay, there is a blue chip in... Uh, blue chip. Blueprint in here. Really, only one... I mean, I'm happy about the other loot. It's just the new, like the blueprints. The thing about them is that you, we've already got that by the way, um, that you open them and you get something at random seemingly. And there is more than just the new stuff. Cause it seems like some older things have been added to it. So four chests in this new thing, like there's only so many chests around, like you can't have it. So you can't get them all right. Or, like, I, I don't know. To be fair, I don't know how it's set up, but... I'm just thinking of, like, we just... What was that? Six chests, including the small ones? And we got one blueprint. So, you wouldn't want to average that. Otherwise, yeah, I don't think you'd do too well. And we need another locker here, apparently. Oh. Uh, oh, my God, the keys! I keep pressing F, and... I keep trying to transfer things with T, and... Oh, man. It's O oh, and F. Ah, I really do like art controls. Or well, maybe I'm just used to them because I've played so many hours of it. I hadn't played it in like so long, but I, I've played like seven, eight hundred hours of it total on Steam, I think. So there's a bit of time in there. All right, let's just dump all those. Yes, yeah, so we did. I mean, we got one, but so with some luck, we can unlock something cool, but. I don't know. We'll take a bit more of a look around this area. There could be, you know, something else here, but... Oh, wow. So there's actually more of these around. Like, like, a, like look. So there's one there. Uh, where else? Uh, so there's, like, one there. There's one there. There's one right here. It's, it's kind of a huge find, the super alloy. It's, or a convenient one of that, because it's sort of like... It's like aluminum combined with everything else, so... You got these very awkward spots to walk on, though. I mean, this must be new, right? Yeah, this is pretty big. And did we just go to the back, like, to start with or something? Like, maybe you meant to make your way through to there. We just started with the end because of how we got there. Hmm. Well, either way, some decent stuff here. Just a little disappointing getting, you know, that many chests in the new area and only one microchip. It's a little disappointing. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just continue through here and head out back and decode this. If there's any chests, we'll jump down, but it seems more like a bit of a mazy thing. Oh, there's one there. Could be something. These are really nice, though. Seriously. These, these seem a little OP, actually, to be honest. Which I'm surprised to find myself saying, because I like resources, but... Honestly, I don't think the super alloy being here is very necessary. Because once you get the drill, things are a lot easier. So... Oh, good, good, good. That's what we wanted. Um... Crap, I wasn't factoring oxygen. Uh, but yeah, once you get the drills, like, you can produce aluminum, so... You don't really need to do that. Oh, can we get to this one? Oh, it's empty anyway. Alright. <laughs> I'll have to just leave a few things here and come back later. Nothing too crazy, although... A few things that are good, so we won't actually want to leave them, but we can come back for those. I think uh, I think we'll head back and decode these two blueprints. With some luck, we'll get to do something new. Uh, I'd love to check out the jetpack. That that does sound really cool and very useful and good for exploring. And I mean, honestly, that that's really the winner, I think. Uh, but yeah, after that, let's uh, let's get the base building. Uh, said I've got some rough ideas. I, I do have a plan. It's just. We'll, we'll see how it goes. You know, I really hope the agility boots actually get a buff or like several more tiers because I'm realizing like we're, we have T2 on 
and you get 30% movement speed, but this is it. Like, it, this is sprinting. It's not fast. I don't know, I was just thinking about then, like, it was really, this is actually 30% extra, that's surprising. Uh, I mean, if it goes up, like, T5 or something, that'd be good, but otherwise, yeah, I think they could honestly be doubled, like, each of them. Hmm. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get these decoded and hopefully get something good. I don't, I mean, well, let's see, I don't know what we'd even need to make the jetpack. Probably a couple of rocket engines or something, maybe. Alright, let's, uh, let's see what we're gonna get here. Oh, we just, okay. So they must have detected in your inventory. Uh, are, are you shitting me? T1 mining speed. Really? We just got a sec- okay, it's back there, but I'm pretty sure we just got a second T2. So, is that what they've done? Like, rather than unlocking this stuff in here, I mean through- because I'm pretty- this was all TI, wasn't it? Like, am I mistaken on that? I'm pretty sure. So, have they changed that from being that to just through this? I mean, are we going to waste this one? A compass, of which we already have. Ah, it's a little disappointing. Uh, like I said, save files should automate work with the update, but I recommend to create a new one as you need a blueprint market just to unlock the new items. Yeah, also apparently all of the old ones. Ah, uh, okay, I guess that's it for us. Um, I'll, I'll think about it between now and the next one and maybe I can edit the save to reset them or something. I don't know, I don't like doing something like that, but it's like, it's either, you know, don't experience that part of the game, do that, or a new world. So, I don't know, let me, let me know if you have any thoughts on it. I'm a little disappointed there's no duplicate check and you just sort of waste them. I, I don't really, yeah, that, that's not great. Because that would mean, if it's going to go in some sort of order, potentially, we might be going through like 10 more of these before we even hit the, the newer stuff. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. But, lakes are at 80%, that's nice. That's, uh, that actually might be able to finish today, surprisingly. Very surprisingly. Huh. Alright. Well, I think we can jump straight into the base, because that, that didn't work out as well as I was hoping. We tried. We, we tried. Uh, but yeah, I think we could start working on the base, which, uh, yeah, I said, I have some rough plans for, I'm just, uh, yeah, I don't know, I, I guess let me get a few things together and we'll just sort of start winging it and hoping for the best. Okay, it's like 10, 15 minutes later or so, it, uh, started raining after I got stuff together, so, yeah, I decided to leave it till it was a little bit nicer out here. But, uh, yeah, we are full of iron and titanium at the moment, and we'll, we'll keep grabbing from there until that's empty, and... Yeah, we'll uh, figure that out. Oh, I just realized. Uh, health and water. Oh, that was another thing uh, in the update. Um, health drains a little bit faster now, I do believe. Um, what else? There was something. Oh, no, I was just going to say, um, I will actually link to the patch notes in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. It's not that long. Um, but, you know, I didn't cover all the minor changes or bug fixes and stuff. So if you want to read yourself, I'll make sure that's linked. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get going here. So, let's, uh, let's get up on our rock. Man, that is, like, uh, it's wild when you're, like, it's, it's just water, like, in a game. Like, that is no big deal, but it's just so crazy when you realize, like, what that looked like. Just a few episodes back. Man, crazy. And it is, like, it's, it's, look how close that's gotten to there. You can see, like, yeah, it's wild. Um, but yes, base. That's the, uh, that's the important one. So, the idea, I, and I said, it, it's sort of rough at the moment, but, well, I, I do have a plan, I just don't know how it's going to work out. Oh, wow. Hello, water. I, wow, are, are we going to, is, are we safe here? I'm, I'm pretty sure we should be, right? My god, that is so much closer than I would have expected, though. And it actually, I'm a little worried about here. Because we've still got like 20% to go. Or 25 maybe. Hmm. Anyway, I think we want to knock off two on each of these ends to start with. I want to bring it in a little. Uh, I'm also going to fill in these four gaps. And then... 
I'd like to add in the corners as well. We have to factor that in, so... Let's, let's get... To, and there's that as well. Which honestly has not been factored into my plans because it's square and I just don't know how to deal with it. Uh, I wish that was more like the dome. That would be a lot better. Uh, but yeah, so let, let's... Uh, Let's see how this goes. I don't know if it's going to look weird on the inside to start out, but I think we can... Yeah, we can do that. Can we get under here? No. Wait. Can we not crouch? What? Crouching's a thing, isn't it? No? Do we not have a crouch button? Huh. Okay. I don't know why or how I did not realize that. Huh. Strange. Anyway, let's pop those in. Can we? No, we cannot. We are, we are not that short. And get that. Uh, good. So then, would want a corner piece. And on the other side. So we're going to have to move the seed spreaders a bit. Well, not if it goes underneath, I guess. But we, we will certainly need more of them, that's for sure. Um, I, don't wanna, I might just take off one here and then two off the front or something. Uh, oh shit, right. Mainly because um, it is actually nice having the glass panels and like a bit of a walkout. I do like that. So I don't want to like completely cut something like that out. Uh, how do you want to... That doesn't... That, that's fine. Eh, that'll do. I'll say it could be cool having a really long walkout, but I don't know. We'll, we'll think on, see on that. Like maybe just have like a short entrance up there, then have like a, a longer one out here or something. I'm not sure. But I did want to shorten that off just a little bit. I've got that there. So can we see from here? Yeah, th this is the, the quick version. All right, so we've got that on there. And I, I'd like to put the corners in here as well. So, I don't know if it's best to actually do that and then pop this along one. Or, if we actually do want to separate this, perhaps, and we could sort of have that leading off into the entrance, right? And then maybe we could actually have the biodome and this outside, like, to sort of separate it or something. Um, yeah, I was sort of, like, um and ahhing about the biodome in particular. Just because it's in, like, a... Kind of an awkward position, like... I can't add the corners on that I'd like to. Uh, but you can see, so in here, we've sort of... That's where space has been added, so yeah, there's going to be some adjusting. Um, but one of the things I wanted to do to sort of... Still keep the shape that existed to a degree... I want to put some things... Yeah, here, I think, specifically. Um, like, I want to put something in each of these corners to sort of give this a central feel so that wherever we are, it still feels like there's like a center point. And I just realized I hadn't eaten, my bad. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, I wanna, I don't know what, like I don't know what item, it may even be chests, so we could lay here to give sort of a, this is sort of a blue marked center point thing. Uh, yeah, so something like that. But I do wanna get that corner on there to bring this out. So, do we move the biodome? I, that's, that's the one thing I wasn't really... was less than sure on. But, what we can do... Oh, also, I'm just realizing the, uh, the food there. It's only like a quarter or... Yeah. Didn't it used to start at half? I wonder if that was changed. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I'd, I'd like to actually move that out and maybe mimic that. It's... Just, or actually, you know, I wouldn't. Oh, all right. Let, let me, let me, let me look at this for a second. You know, let's uh, let's try something with this. I don't know if this is gonna work, but it might give us an option that is more symmetrical, at least. Uh, although, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to. We'll see. So, I want to try and place it here. I just don't know if this works. 
Like, can we... Is it... Uh, I mean, uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. So if we put it here, right, where it is awkwardly trying to... What's that gonna do? Uh, is it not... Is it not allowing it? It's like... Because it is going green in the right spot, but then it's popping away. Right there. Okay. Did that get a door where I wanted it to? I think it might, might have. Let's, let's see how this feels inside. My god, that is a... Uh, kind of loud. So... Yeah, oh, it gives like a double door into it. That's kind of cool, actually. You yeah, see, see, this actually... this What I was thinking is, since that's a 4x4 four four and on the end, we could actually just add a 4x4 four four here as well. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, a 4x4. Four four. And that sort of actually wraps around this a little, which I think will actually look a bit cooler. It sort of allows us to keep this while also adding that, I think. Uh, sort of going against what I was planning, but I think that's fine. So let's add them. All right. And take a little look. Yeah, something like that. I think we still want to knock like a couple off there to give it a shorter entrance. And this has obviously expanded quite a bit, but it's now like, I think that works better. Uh, we may actually knock them corners back off. And that way we sort of have like the two by bits here, but then we sort of keep this to a three by three in like a T-shaped sort of thing. I, I think that'll actually, I mean, it takes away a little of the center. I think these help the shape when you look at it, but I don't think we actually need those with how we've set this up, really. Yeah, so that's how it looks without. I'm not, I'm not saying it's the fanciest looking base in the world, but I think, I think we can more work with that. Uh, and there's still, there's still like adjustments to be made, right? So, um, with the entrances, I do actually want to put the glass panels on top. I also want to add at least two more entrances or exits, uh, somewhere on the sides, either one of these, I don't know if on, on the side of there or onto here maybe or something, but I do definitely want to have that. Um, I don't know if we honestly want to add like one more pod onto each side, just for the sake of a little mini entrance like one that would have the glass and stuff uh that might be a bit good way to go and we'll have to rearrange a little bit of the stuff here uh maybe move some of our work stuff more into here and then maybe yeah we could like clear up the entrance maybe and there's i don't know something like that but yeah yeah well let's um Let's start off by moving, we'll just get rid of one of these entrances, I think. I don't know if we want to keep it symmetrical, like three on each side, or... It doesn't matter too much. But I think it could look good. Uh, we do want to get the tops on, though, to properly see, I guess. Let's, uh... Let's add these on. And... Okay, so that's, uh... Whoops. <laughs> Damn you, rock. Yeah, so that's one shorter on that end, and then we've got the glass panels added to each. And I think that looks good. It's a simple thing, but I, I, do, I do think that's quite nice. Yeah, I like that. Uh, and yeah, I think, um... I don't know, I almost want to put, like, the en like a, a, entrances on either side of here. But it's... It's really not quite as good as I feel like having them here. Maybe on the back side, even, actually. Like, like that one. Like, two in... And it's like, and we'll have them going that way. So like all be entrance out here, but like that's that's a lot quick to duck around here type of thing. That could look better. Um Yeah, and I still want to utilize these more though, because honestly, like it I feel like it adds a lot. Um I'm I'm tempted to go around the entire outside, but I don't think we quite want that. It's a bit too open. But it could be cool to like maybe the corners we could we could add like yeah, like, I don't, I don't know. I sort of want to factor the inside in a little, because some stuff I'm not going to want to have directly in front of the windows. You know what I mean? It's too bad we can't actually use these, eh? Like, these walls are cool. Oh, shit, I, I was meant to go and eat before I started doing that. Um, yeah, th those actually look cool, like, with the, uh, the half option. Oh, that was... Well, that worked out fine, actually. Yeah, so we have the area back here now, that four that was added on, so... I don't know, we, we could actually move some of the storage into there I think we we probably want to because like I mentioned about doing an exit on that second one which would be here so that that would be where the exit is 
Uh, it's kind of a tough one. Like, I, I wish you had more control over how these connected. Like, you could actually choose where a wall is. Like, maybe if you're in building mode and you click in here, a wall forms or something. Like, I don't know. Hmm. It's also strange. I'm only just realizing now these are literally just... Like, these are the same as these, except this part's been made into a, a window. So I don't know why we don't actually have that option. Because these would be a lot more suitable for certain areas where you don't necessarily want, like, the whole thing. Which, these look awesome. Don't get me wrong. But they are very fitting for, like, a hallway like this, I feel like. Uh, I love that it connects into here like that, too. But it doesn't mean you want your whole walls like that, you know? Uh, right, anyway. Let's, um, there was a couple other things. We're sort of just uh, figuring out as we go to a degree here. Uh, like, I have the... Yeah, anyway. Don't mind me. Let's go upwards. That's the sort of what I want to do next. Which, not sure how that actually works. Uh, we did not gain an entrance upwards, that's for sure. So we need this. So I believe there's a thing above us. How, how does this work? So we can put this... Oh, we can put that anywhere. I kind of thought there was going to be more of an open hole to go up. Do we want to, like... Do we want it central? Uh, well, I, I sort of did. I just didn't. I didn't want it facing that way. Uh, yeah, that's no, gonna bother me if we keep it that way. Uh, where are we at? How am I, oh, there we are. Uh, I'm gonna be a bit mixed on if. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, if this is all there is to go up, I don't know. I, I thought you'd be able to see upstairs for some reason. Okay. Well, it does exist. That's something. Let's, uh... Let's add on to this. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. That's not what I want, actually. No. Let's get rid of that. Uh... Climb down. I want to make sure this is where I want it. And, and Alright, let's... Let's start with that part. Is that facing the right way? No, it's not. I want it that way. Okay. I want you around there. That's, I, I'm, <laughs> uh, it's not centered, I know it. Actually, you know what, I'm, I, oh no. That, <laughs> uh oh. What do? Can I just erase? Please don't tell me that can deconstruct it below. Uh, legit, what do I do? Do I just add a door? I, I guess that's what I have to do. Oh my. It did. Are you kidding me? That's not cool. Shit. Really? You better let me put one back in there. Are you serious? Don't do this. Don't, don't make me have to like... Come on. Ah, uh, man. What do we do here, then? Oh, what? There's still a... What the fuck are you? Please don't have messed this up. Oh, uh, what has it done? That's screwy. Trying to... Oh. Oh. That's really screwy. Oh. Oh, okay, so I... Okay. Okay. <laughs> that was... Interesting. Anyway, going back to... Doing things like a functional person. Uh, yeah. Uh, let, let's not put this in the center. That, that's, that's lesson learned there. Get around the right way. And the corner actually seems more fitting. Yeah, let's go like that. Okay, that's nice. But wait, so... Oh, do I need to have put the... How does this work? Can I go up still? Is that going to be friendly? Okay. So we could like... Uh, if it's the right way... We can just like put another one in the corner here like that and then go up yes and now we can go like this yes we can 
if I had enough stuff. Oh yeah, so you might see what I'm doing now. I wanted to go up a level, uh, and I want to make like a probably three by three maybe. Uh, I'm not not 100% sure on the size, but I did want to have it up a level off and then put like glass all around it because I think that'll look really cool. And that'll be our bedroom basically, nice little penthouse. Yeah, I think that'd work like as a three by three. Although I'm tempted to go up one more level actually. Well, it's getting a little dark, but let's uh, let's see how this is looking here. Yeah, I, I can live with that. It's not like the best looking thing, I think, because these are so chunky to go up to it, but yeah, I think that's cool. And yeah, I'm going to wrap the whole thing in glass. Um, yeah, man, it's it's uh, it's surprisingly easy getting stuck in there. I actually got stuck up in the top and there's not a simple way out. Um, like if you've got the materials on you to build one of these, you can just build one and go up. There's no problem. But if you remove this here, for example, right, and you get stuck up in this, this is what I was in, right? And you think that'd have to be a simple way out, but you can't actually deconstruct something that you're in. It's like, you notice how there's no deconstruct option here? It's only showing here because this actually goes down below and deconstructs below us. So you can't just deconstruct this and fall. Uh, you, you really do get stuck. And you think, like, if you die, you respawn in the last one of these things you've been in. So... You actually do get stuck. Um, I don't know, I feel like there must be some obvious thing that I'm missing, but the only reason I got out is because I had a cobalt and iron on me. Like... Yeah. That's kind of weird, right? Yeah, I don't know. I just had to build one straight to the roof and jump out because I accidentally deconstructed this. So... Yeah. Uh, let's add some windows, so I think that's going to look really nice. Uh, I do still want to add some down below as well. Oops. But I think this will... Uh, oh crap, out of iron. <laughs> Thought I grabbed enough. Ooh, that's looking good. I, I really do like that. The the blue glass, like, it, it really works. Okay, this actually makes for a really nice view. See our backyard. See out of the ships. See that lake that is actually getting way bigger than I expected over there. That's, that's a lot more water than I was thinking. Like, we saw that little bit over there. That's, that's, uh... Yeah, I didn't realize how big that would be spreading. Yeah, so blue tin aside, which, it looks cool on the outside. It's harder to see through on the in, but... We actually have, like, a really nice view from up here. Very cool. Let's go, let's go take a proper look how this looks outside. Alright, this might have been a bit too far away. It does look nice, though. I thought we'd try something other than the rock, but... It's, uh... Is it just me, or have we made a spaceship? <laughs> Seriously, put some thrusters on there and, you know, the, uh, yeah, I don't know, I see a ship there, man. I don't know, just me? I think it's looking pretty good, though. Uh, we do want more glass around, though. I think that's really, like, these are just so bland the way they are. But I don't quite know how I want them, because, oh, like, water collector, hello. Oh, shit, we're at 50 million, wow, okay. Uh... Yeah, I'm not sure where I want them, because I don't want it to disrupt, like, you know, the, the, like, sort of worky stuff on the inside. Like, I don't want it to look crap from what's in there either. Like, I don't want to have, like, some just bulky thing sticking out in the window type of thing. Um, so I don't know where's actually a good spot for that. Wait, did we add them to the roof of this? Oh, yeah, we did both. So that's all right. I was tempted to do that for up there, but it didn't really seem as necessary. Um, uh, yeah, I think we, we really want them in all areas to a degree, don't we? Hmm. You know, we could actually, we could do the middle. You know, I don't know if, like, just one by itself will look weird. Like, if we did them, like, here and here. Because then, like, for these, for example, we could do it on the same side, same, uh, on this side, but then move those heaters to here. So we sort of had them around. And not covering the windows. Yeah, I kind of like it that actually being... Yeah, I think we could match that up. Uh, probably. <laughs> Depends how that's... Uh, what's it going to do over here? Something annoying, I'm sure. Yeah. Right, I think that was actually where we talked about adding a, an, an exit, wasn't it? Now that I think of it. That's still not... Hmm, I still... I do like it. We could do another one here. 
I don't know. I, I like the idea of the corners too, though, you know? Like having a big corner window as opposed to here, for example. Can we deconstruct the... Mm, of course we can't. Uh, that's one thing I do hope gets changed as well, being able to deconstruct doors and windows as opposed to having to do this whole compartment. I think I have to do that. Add it back. I mean, that, that works fine, so it's not a, a huge concern, but... Yeah, so like, th this is like a nice big corner window. I feel like that's going to look good. Because we could do the same on there, but it, it does connect straight onto these, so... I don't know if that's a bit much. Ah... Uh, I do like the corner window. I mean, we could do... Yeah, we could do like corner plus that. Or something, I don't know. I want them to be spaced out a bit, because I don't want to wrap it the whole way around. Even though that would probably look cool. Uh... I don't know. I guess we like so. What do we got on us? Oh, all right. Let's um. Let's make it a bit more symmetrical here from the outside, then to see how we're looking. I mean, I was gonna move them. But that doesn't. That looks kind of cool, actually. Uh, let's put these there. All right. So you can see stuff I didn't really want to see, but that doesn't look bad either, does it? Like, could we get away with putting them on the corners here too? Well, because we... I'm semi-symmetry. I mean, we are going for symmetry, but it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. But sort of want the general feel of symmetry, you know? Uh, we can't match them. So I don't know if I want to do, like, all window this area. But then I was going to make it more into a work area. Uh, then again, having a nice sunny work area isn't bad, is it? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Well... Yeah, I mean, it's better to do it and just see how it looks, I think. Because you can always just change it. Well, yeah. I mean, we can. It's it's more awkward when there's stuff. Fortunately, this doesn't have any stuff in it right now, so... Actually, not a big deal. Oh, shit. No, oh, I was like, wait, did I just place a door? But no, all good. That was, uh, that was it, wasn't it? Ah, uh, one more. Wait, did I... Oh, am I seriously one cobalt? Cobalt, where are you? Come on. Are you Cobalt? You look like Cobalt. Yes, very good. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to look, because, like, the other side we won't actually see as much. This will be what we actually see most of the time. But, like, I don't know. I don't hate the idea of actually having some of our work stuff in a big open area. I didn't want crap to be seen, necessarily, from the windows, but... I think that looks pretty good. How are we looking from up here at our trusty rock? Ah, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm liking it. I feel like we've put a lot of windows here. I think I think that works though. Got these big corner windows on there. You got the ones there. So you're you're pretty like for most of the base, you're you're not far off a window. It's really only got this central area, but even there, you could probably like. Which I like the idea of you know not making it feel less claustrophobic type of thing. Uh, let's actually go through and have a walk then. Probably do want to move those. They they kind of look cool there, but I think it'd be also fitting to have the area on either side like. But yeah, so we got the, the top there. We go in here. Got a window straight over there. One there, except can't see it technically, but... Got a nice view. Got a big open window. That room's very open. Yeah, I... I yeah. That that spot's sort of awkward. Yeah. We, we need some rearranging in here, but... I think that's sort of not too bad. I almost want... I want to make them larger to a degree, to be honest. Like, part of me wants to just add them here as well. It's not like it would cause problems. I just feel like it, it might be a little much going all windows. I don't know. Let me know if you have any thoughts on that. We, we might leave it there for the windows. Because I'm just a bit unsure. We can always add more if we want to. Okay, got the heaters moved. So yeah, we... Come on with our entrance here, and yeah, we've got nice windows there on either side. Come to here, go this way. Well, actually, yeah, no, it's... I'm not used to it being... Yeah. I'm not quite used to having this... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's alright, though. Uh, part of me wants bigger windows, but I feel like it, it looks good from the outside. I don't know. They, there's so many of these parts, like these central things, because of how they link up, which is why I sort of want to have it give it a bit more open feel. Uh, yeah, this is still a little... little claustrophobic-ish. I don't know. 
I think we're going to want to move some storage into there. Uh, I may I may do some of that, like rearranging off camera. Some of those like things like with that, because I'm still a bit unsure about some of that stuff. Um, yeah, let's uh, actually let's let's take what was the lake percentage at? Must be getting up there like 90% by now or something. Oh. Oh my, we're into flora. Okay. And that one's actually not slow. Okay. Shit. Lakes are done. Let's take a look. I mean, I can already see how friggin' close the thing is. Okay, so this is, uh, I assume this is the completed lake then. And yeah, look how close that is. That's wild. It really is massive. And yeah, look at that. That, that, it pretty much got to where I was thinking it might, which was a lot more than I really expected, like... Man. And yeah, we've got over there now too, which, holy shit, that's way bigger than I thought. I cannot believe how close that got. I really can't. That's crazy. Um... Well, <laughs> for right now, uh, I think we we want some more seed growers, actually, don't we? That's that's probably the way to go. Uh, I really should have been saving water bottles. Kind of forgot about that uh, ingredient. <laughs> to be fair, we only need ice, which... Oh, yeah, I'd, I'd forgotten about that. So that's what, it was just sort of clicked to me at some point off camera how... I'm saying about these really cover everything, but not ice, do they? They don't, they don't actually get ice. Like, ice is something I feel like we've seen less and less of, and I haven't really been picking it up, so... Ice could be, I assume that's probably the one thing that's finite, but then, I don't know, because you, you do need, you need it for water, but then you get that, and now we have that lake collector. I feel like there was some, re there was some recipes that needed ice. Yeah, see, like, yeah, but I think it's all the lower tier ones, because we haven't needed ice for a while. Hmm. Anyway, uh, we do have enough on hand for four more, so let's get some of them going. We probably have, yeah, they're in here as well. All right, let's grab one just so it's emptying. I mean, side to field. All right, let's, uh, let's plunk you down somewhere here. Just try and keep spreading them. I wish you could, like... Wait, can you do that? No. I wish you could, uh, yeah, to a degree. I wish you could push them out further so you could see the ring better. Like, you can only go so far, like this type of thing. Uh, maybe, like... Maybe about there? Just hitting under the... That should be about good. Uh, yeah, I guess we want to pop a seed in. Uh, we don't have a ton of the good ones left. We've we've got a fair few going around here. Uh, oh right, so flora started. Does that mean are we going to start seeing plants around the place? Grass? Like what are we? I wonder what that's actually going to mean. Hmm. Uh, as for this one, maybe there. Uh. I want to make sure there's like crossover, but not not too much. Maybe there, a little bit further, something like that. And then this one to sort of connect up these spaces uh, around there. That something like that. I don't know. We we these may need adjustments. It doesn't have to be. Perfect, I guess. It's more just for some extra greenery around the place, but we can only do so much with it too. Like, um, we only have so many seeds, and well, I guess we you know, we have a fair few of them Lerma ones. They don't give a ton of bonus, but if we just want greenery, um, but still, like they they, they stand out a lot more than I would like them to. <laughs> I like the grass. I don't so much like having a million of those around. Uh, we need to do this side, but. We don't have enough for the second, so... Oh, wait, did I... Wait, what? Oh. No, I... Okay. I think I factored that wrong. I, I grabbed enough bottles for three and enough materials for four. I think that's what I did there. Let's grab the hose. Uh, I'm tempted to fill another one just there, but... I think this is probably a good spot for one. Although, honestly, we... We should do one underneath, nearly. I don't know, like, uh, if that doesn't sprinkle high enough to go inside the building, that's probably worth actually doing one under there, isn't it? But I also want one here, so we'll start with that. <laughs> uh, let's make sure... How do we... Uh, 
avoid too much overlap. Like that, maybe? See how that goes. Uh, now we may as well throw in the 600 there. Yeah, I think that'll be good. That should spread around nicely. We still, we're definitely gonna need more of them though, like... It's, uh, yeah, I mean, they may need adjusting, but we can... We can see. Like, honestly, because we could put, like, one here, another one here. We probably put, like, two underneath if they're not gonna go inside and be annoying. Uh, and then probably need, like, another three covering up around here. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I thought we might have, yeah. We ended up with way more of a gap there than I intended. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna try and move, uh, I would need to move things a little bit. I wanna try and avoid going too much just because, like, if you move one and you've placed it next to another that's actually, like, correct, then suddenly you've got a gap there and, you know. Like, this one I actually do wanna move over a little. Uh, let's grab you. Don't want to take it too far. Just want to sort of bring it over like that a little more. And I'm hoping that that's going to be okay. I don't... Hopefully they overlap. Because we've, we've got another one out here, I think. We'll just wait and see where the borders for that are. Uh, let's just go up here a little. So... I'm hoping that'll fill in. This might need to go that way just a little bit. To sort of fill it in. Because I want to get up to the border the best we can. So let's actually, yeah, let's do that. Same spot, basically, just a little... A little further that way. Like, uh... I'm going to have to have more crossover just for the sake of getting it covered, I think. Something about there. I just don't want any of it to go inside, but... I think that'll be okay. Uh, let's also swap that for that. And mix them up a little more. See, that's what I, I don't like. Is that going to now be too far? So there'll be a little gap there, and then I got to move that over slightly. You know, which I actually think it will be. So let's do it. Because yeah, we better have to get them correct now. I think yeah, I'm gonna have to move over like to there maybe. And that'll hopefully be a pretty perfect thing for there. And then I think we'll actually yeah. So we see this side more. Maybe we'll continue this side for a minute. Uh, we'll see where the border of that one sits. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, I think we might... Uh, yeah, see, that's... that's. I've made a gap here now. Ah. Uh, I feel like you need so many to really, like, spread it around. But, they, I mean, they're not that expensive, to be completely fair. It's just aluminum... Uh, one aluminum, one magnesium, and three water bottles. So, it, it's not actually that bad, but just trying to get them right. I think I think those three there are pretty good now. And that connects into that one okay. But I think we need to actually adjust here, because that, that gap is actually noticeable, isn't it? <laughs> so do we need to start moving these ones? Alright, I adjusted it, but I feel like it's too close to this one now, so we'll see. Um... I think they really, the developer really does need to adjust these um, so that you can sort of be a bit more carefree with them in terms of where you, how close you place them to these. Like the fact that they grow up through and sprinkle in and stuff, it's, it's a little bit, actually do they sprinkle in? I'm pretty sure they were. I know they grew up through, but yeah, so it's unfortunate they clip because otherwise you could be a bit more casual about it, make sure it really goes right up. But you really don't want this crap sticking up in your base, ideally. Uh, I wouldn't think, at least. But yeah, I, th I think we're gonna wanna... We're gonna wanna adjust these. We, we, we're gonna wanna adjust both of these, I can tell. So let's just snap them away. See, because I didn't want it to cover that either. Wanted to, like, be able to sit on the border without actually... And I think it went a bit too close. That's overlapping a fair bit there. If we do that, maybe a little further over? It's all because I feel I want to cover the gap between. I guess we do need to go a little close, don't we? To cover the gaps. The crossover doesn't really matter that much. As long as everything else is good, you know? So maybe like that. Make sure we grab those back. Uh, I don't know which flower was in here, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to cover. I was trying to make like a walkway too, originally. Uh, this area is not terrible. I mean, 
That's a good standard to go by, right? You know, let's try one out underneath, just straight up, like under here. Try to combine all these areas together. Uh, let's make sure it doesn't go... We want it to like the edge of the stairs, I think. Something like that. Now, we want to just go inside and see if it's going to be a bother. Uh, slight sprinkles, probably acceptable. It's not my first choice, but I, I don't think it's going to be enough to be a bother in any, any way. Uh, I'd also like to get another one here. I want to get that up to the staircase, sort of making that walkway again. Or at least trying to. Let's try and make sure we get a good crossover. I think around there, maybe. Let's go with that. I think that'll be nice. And we can do one more for now. Which, uh... I kind of want to put over here, actually. This, like, gap here, like, actually feels like a gap, even though... It's more just, yeah. Uh, you're in the, you're, hmm. Are we gonna have to move you, like, collector thingy? Water collector? Uh, maybe. We'll see. Just wanna get a good crossover. That, that looks pretty good. It go a little bit more. Uh... Yeah, I might need to move you. I don't want to move it far, because I actually kind of like it there. Maybe, like, here. I don't know. We'll, we'll put this down and then see. Oh, shit. Fading. You're going to go there, though. Ah. <laughs> what did I lose? Oh. Was it... Was it oxygen? Oh, it was oxygen. Okay. Ah. Well, no matter. Let's, uh, grab do 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 and... 200% good and how are you doing oh you're gonna be a minute anyway all right I think that's probably pretty good let's see how we're looking from up there all right there we are that is our current base I think that's looking pretty good um yeah I, I said I feel like it feels messy with these but I also still you know I think it's worth having the grass um we are gonna still want more of them I think we kind of want another one here we might want to put like another two here, like to sort of, I don't know, maybe even like one, two, three, four, and try and actually give this a proper entrance. Maybe like, honestly, it'd be kind of cool if we would shape them all the way up to these, like as in we sort of have a path that's like that and then turns to here and it's just the sand with all of them spreading around it. Uh, not guaranteeing on that, but I think we do want, uh, at, at minimum, we want another one there. We're going to want probably three around the back side there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I want to have like a really... Because like this is pretty solid, this this width. So I think we want to like have really that going all around at least. And then maybe, yeah, do a pathway similarly thick that sort of leads between there and there. I just think that'd be kind of cool. Um, it would be good to see an actual path thing. Like some sort of, I don't know, indentation you could make maybe. Uh, I would also really, yeah, definitely like to see these updated to not clip through. That's a little annoying. Um, but yeah. I think uh, I think we're probably going to wrap it up about here for now. Um, didn't quite get everything done, that, that's for sure, but I, I think we got some pretty solid base upgrades done, honestly. like, I mean, yes, a lot of them were, or if not all, were aesthetic as opposed to anything uh, more functional, but... And also not the best lighting to finish on, but uh, no, I think I think we made pretty good progress. I mean, we sort of shortened things up a little bit. We got some new windows added. We figured out a place for the lab. Uh, got this new little area. Got our penthouse up there. Um, you know, spreading more grass around. I don't know. I, I feel like it's good changes. Uh, it's definitely not done, but it's good. Um, I think. Like, yeah. Let me know what you think of the window. Should add more. Do something with that. I think, um, yeah, we still need to actually set up our bedroom. I'm going to do a little re-ranging off camera here. I don't know. I might move storage into here or I'm, I'm just not sure what I want to do with that. And I'll probably be fiddly. That's why I'll do it off camera and figure it out. Uh, it won't be anything crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know. We've got some more grass spread. We, I don't know. We sort of finalized the rough idea of what we're going for. And we're fading to black. <laughs> okay. Well, at least the weather's nicer now. 
that's something, right? Uh, I'll be saying, we, we sort of finalized the rough design. Uh, it didn't come out exactly as planned, but after realizing we could connect that on and make it a bit more symmetrical, I actually much prefer that. Um, I'm tempted to cut one in, one off each of these just to bring it in a little more, but I, I also think it's probably fine and that's probably me just being picky, but yeah. I don't know, especially that bit on the windows. I'm, I'm not sure how I want to, if I want to change that more or... But yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty happy with our base right now. It's, uh... I'm sure many people could do a lot better, a lot more creative, a lot more interesting, but I like it. Um, but yeah, hopefully too, yeah, you can... I really do want to get control of the walls to be able to put them up where we want to and stuff. I think that'd be really good. It's uh, it's just hard to section things off at the moment because you can only section them by like entire things that like you've really got to spider out your base type of thing if you want to keep it all separate. So I, I think being able to add walls where you want them would be good. Uh, same with doors. I think you should be able to add doors in, inside to split up rooms. That'd be really good. Uh, I'd like to be able to deconstruct the windows and doors separately. Uh, I, honestly, another thing too, it might be a thing that it should be that you can't de deconstruct a staircase if there's no other way out. Like, I feel like a small prevention thing like that. Unless there is another obvious way to get out, like... Because you can sort of mini soft lock yourself to a degree. Uh, yeah. But no, I, I don't know. I think uh, I think we made pretty good progress today. Uh, it was too bad we couldn't do more with the update stuff, but the blueprints seem to be just... It is what it is. Let me know if you have any thoughts on that too. Um, I might try and do what I said, although it's not guaranteed. I'd looked at the save file previously, just when I ran into it, and I realized how it was set up, so I, I, I think I could probably edit it uh, correctly, but I, I don't know if that it would actually be more of a pain in us that I realized, or, you know, th there's other things to it. I'm not set in stone, but, yeah. Uh, I think, uh, think just to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and, uh, yeah, I just hope to see you in the next one. I'm, I'm thinking at this point, there'll probably be, like, maybe two more of these. Uh, it's hard to say. I'm still enjoying it. Uh, some things have taken longer than expected, so, you know, uh, I'm just going to keep going until we sort of hit a dead end, but, you know, there's the Grand Canyon been added, so there's still things happening, and uh, one of the other things is I'm not sure about is um, how early access is going to work, because originally I, I had thought of, like, you know, maybe I'll be able to just continue this world into early access, but with things like the microchip change, that's probably less realistic, so... I don't know, uh, maybe I'll start a new world for early access if um, if it's going to be a decent content update. So, I don't know, let, let me know what you think of that if you've hung around here to the end, because if there's any interest in me doing a new one and trying to, I don't know, do things differently or something, that could be fun. Uh, but yeah. Otherwise, just, uh, yeah, said so thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.